Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Of course, I always forget to make an intro, but for today's video, I will be doing a... I'm not sure what the title of this video is yet. It's either what it's like growing up in New York City Chinatown or what it's like growing up in a Fujinese household. I decided to film this because I was visiting my grandparents and I was like, why not show you guys where I grew up? You guys get to meet my family and get to know me a little bit better. Since it's so last minute, it's kind of like all over the place. So sometimes I will pop in and like try to explain to you guys what's going on. So if you guys are new here or or you didn't know, I will give a little brief introduction about myself. My name is Ivy, I am 19 years old. I grew up in New York City, Chinatown, and I was raised by my grandparents, and I also live with like a lot of my cousins, like maybe eight or something. We all live in this tiny New York City apartment, so this is why I'm like really close to them. I don't live there anymore, I currently live in Philly. I am 100% Chinese, but if you want to be more specific, I am Fujinese. I cannot speak Mandarin very well, but I can speak Fujinese a little bit better. It's kind of like Cantonese, but Cantonese and Fujinese are also different. I'm really Really bad at explaining i'm sorry i would definitely say that this is not like an in-depth version of everything because i can't fit everything in one video but for now i hope you guys enjoy watching this video as much as i loved it roll the clip good morning everyone i just woke up it is currently 9 56 and we are planning to take the 12 o'clock bus to new york so i have a few hours but i am so excited i haven't visited my grandma and great grandma in like about a year the last time i saw them was last summer but i didn't record it because that summer i was just taking a break from everything i do want to bring you guys along and show you guys everything and i'm really excited about that too don't know how they're gonna feel about me vlogging i miss them a lot and i want to also see like all my other cousins that i haven't seen in a long time too yeah if you guys grew up in new york city chinatown you might relate to some of the parts of the video like where i used to go and stuff i mean what are the odds that like people grew up in the same area as me i would say it's like a pretty small area but it's like homey feeling but i am pretty much done packing now the only thing left i have to pack is my skincare because i always pack that last since i have to do skincare like in the morning and stuff i look dead right now so i need to do my skincare Speaking of skincare, this video is sponsored by iUnique. iUnique is a Korean skincare brand and they are known for their minimalism, meaning that you don't need 10 different products, but just a few that are super effective. They focus on effective skincare products that only contain natural ingredients. And for some reason, I always break out when I go to New York. My friend said it was because of like the air pollution there. It might be because of stress. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys my really simple but effective skincare routine in four steps. So the first product I wanna talk about and it's probably my favorite product is the iUnique. Unique Calendula Complete Cleansing Oil. This thing is seriously like my holy grail. And this past year, I have been loving like cleansing balms and oil. I probably went through like five of them. But I like that they have this little clasp thing. It's really convenient for traveling. I just leave it on whenever I want to bring this cleansing oil somewhere so it doesn't go all over the place. This product is made with natural oil ingredients and it smells really good too. This product is also ranked number one and two on Amazon and iHerb. I'm gonna stop talking now and finally remove my makeup. Kind of just like rub it all over your face as if you were going to wash your face. I also need to be like a lot more gentle with my skin because I'd be like scrubbing my face so aggressively for no reason. So I think the makeup is pretty much off, so I'm gonna wash this off. So now that my makeup is all off, we are not done yet. I'm going to go in with the iUnique Cantella. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Bubble cleansing foam. And what I really like about this product is that the micro bubbles are really soft and gentle. It cleanses my skin really nicely and gets rid of all my makeup. And it can be used for all different types of skin. There's no irritation at all, which I am really happy with because my skin is super sensitive. I got my Okay, so I just washed everything off. My skin does not feel dry at all because the cleanser also creates moisture in my skin. Now I'm going to go in with a serum. This is the iUnique Beta Glucan Power Moisture Serum. I love this serum because it is rich and moisturizing and it feels even better when it's cold, so I like to put it in my skincare fridge. It improves skin's fine line and elasticity and is German Dermatest certified. I'm already breaking out on my cheeks here. My skin is not perfect, obviously. And lastly, I'm going in with a moisturizer. This is the iUnique Beta Glucan Daily Moisture Cream. I love the texture of this gel moisturizer. I did mention before that in the summertime, I switch on my moisturizer and this is the perfect one. This is perfect for summer because it is a super lightweight gel moisturizer and it contains beta glucan, which intensely hydrates the skin and skin barrier function. This is also German Dermatest certified, so everybody can use it. 
So yeah, that is all for my skincare routine. I wasn't kidding when I said it was so simple. It's literally four items. And if you don't count the cleansers, then it's literally only two products. I will have everything linked down below. So make sure to go check it out. Let's continue on with today's video. I'm vlogging with my phone because my camera broke. I broke it even more. It literally cracked in half and I can't get it repaired. So I'm gonna get a new one when I get to New York, hopefully. Queen, thanks, saving me. <laughs> so I called Best Buy because I have nothing better to do here. And they said they don't have it, the camera in stock. So I'm probably just gonna walk from with my phone. Oh yeah, this is a bus. Run, the bus is coming so I gotta go. So this is my great grandma. She was very happy that we visited and I love seeing her smile. And in this clip, she was saying how Jessica is so tall, but I just didn't feel like captioning it. So here we go. Get me up. Get me away. Get me away. So basically, I was trying to film a really aesthetic clip, the elevator door opening, and then I looked up and it was this librarian who worked at the library for like my whole entire life probably. Like I remember seeing her when I was really little and I used to go to this library like so often, like probably every single day. I remember her being so mean and so rude and like a lot of little kids were like kind of scared of her or like at least my friends Yeah, I was just scared of her. So when I saw her I got a little startled and I was just like cough guard I was gonna ask her if she like remembered me, but it would be kind of awkward if she said no And also I was kind of scared to ask her so I just didn't say anything Anyways, so I hope she doesn't see this or I'm, I don't think she will be like love you Hi The phone quality <laughs> The F train. I need to get a metro card. Oh, I just used my Apple Pay. He's bouge. What if they only have one card? That's it. You can have it. What's the best way? Every time I touch yes. the camera, the alarm went off. <laughs> it went off three times in a row. Can we just talk about the struggles of doing laundry in a small apartment that doesn't have a washing machine or a dryer? You're either gonna have to wash it yourself or go to a laundromat. In order to save money, we wash it ourselves. It's kind of like self-explanatory, but basically what we do is like we get a bar of soap and we have this like wooden bench thing that I showed you guys. You just get the clothes and you just like scrub it. And it is a back workout. Like you gotta bend down to like the bathtub. Yeah, I hated doing my laundry. And then when we dry our clothes, we take it out to the window and our windows have like these little bars that you can hang the hangers on and then my grandma makes these little like DIY rubber bands that we put on the hanger and then like kind of wrap it around the tip of the hanger on the bar and that is to prevent the wind from blowing the clothes away sometimes it doesn't work the wind is like too strong my grandma would climb down the fire escape to get the clothes and it would scare the shit out of me every time because I was always scared that they were gonna slip and fall anyways in the next clip you guys will be formally meeting my grandma grandma and great grandma i was kind of nervous to ask them to say hi because i haven't really vlogged around them yeah i don't really take much like videos or like photos with them but yeah they're both supportive of my channel my grandma is definitely really interested in like this youtube concept she would always like ask me questions and stuff whenever i film and my great grandma is a little confused of how youtube works she's getting there but yeah they're literally so cute and i'm so so happy that i got it on film to show you guys so yeah, enjoy these clips. Grandma, huh? Nicole, 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 you too. Go hello. 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 Go <laughs> hi, everyone. Hi. What are you doing? Do you want to buy it? Do you want to buy it? Do you Go hello. Do you want to buy hello. Oh. I'm going grocery shopping with my TV. Where's security guards? Look at her with her little cane. You got to buy that, huh? 
I swear to God, every time I go grocery shopping with my great grandma or grandma, we run into somebody in the streets and somehow they end up being one of my relatives that I just never knew of. And then I kind of just awkwardly stand there and watch them talk. Comment down below if you can relate. <laughs> they always have free summer meals here and I would be forced to go to eat in the school in the summer to save money. Some bread? Okay, do you want me to add it? No. Can you tell me? Oh, you don't want to eat the food, you don't want to eat the food. Oh, 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 The lighting here is horrible. Mm. So I don't know if you guys can tell by now, but I do have a really big family, which means that I have a lot of cousins. Like I have no idea how many cousins appeared in this video from both my dad and mom's side, but I love like hanging out with my cousins. It's just like fun because everybody's like around the same age. And I'm trying to figure out how to like organize this video, like properly introduce you guys to them. Let me like do a visual representation. So my grandparents had three kids, my aunt, my dad, and my uncle. My aunt had Jenny and Brian. My dad had me, Nicole, and Hugo. And then my uncle had Joyce, Raymond, and Jessica. That was so much easier. I want to say hi to my vlog. Hi. Say hi vlog. Hi vlog. <laughs> so nice to see. No, please. <laughs> recording you. It's so nice to see kids without their phones. <laughs> <laughs> it's so freaking hot. Like look at our sweat. We're like glowing. My melody. Good morning. Where's he going? <laughs> We're opening Lappy Shoshin. Blind box. I don't want this one. I don't want Shopee. I don't want Shopee either. I want. Guys, <laughs> just I specifically picked the one in the back because I thought it was good luck. Oh, we got two greedy there. Oh, so Say hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have to look here, right? Like growing up in New York City Chinatown. So I went to PS2, like the the, the rest Who of the, the gang. Cares? <laughs> what? Okay, so I went to PS2, and that's about it. We played in the three parks all the time. The third park is the best. The third park. The third. Oh yeah, no, there's only two parks. Bro, the first time I ever completed the monkey bars, great grandpa was with us, and I I told him to look, and he literally rolled his eyes at me. And I was like, <laughs> God, wait, really? I hated the monkey like, bars ever since. Picture it. Full it's thing. just trauma dump. So wait, Nicole, do you remember when like the dagong was like passing out chips and then like? Oh, we were yeah, no, no, bro. No, no, no. 
Oh my Literally, God. I was like, oh, it was me. It looks like I remember, like, I had to ask Raymond. I was like, Raymond, can you give me some chips? Yeah. And then, like, you were literally, like, hiding behind the door. Yes. You there. Yeah. You were, like, like, head, like, Literally, that, that was like, one of my first memories. I remember, like, me and Nicole going over there and we were asking for chips, and then, like, Dragon wouldn't give us any. It was, like, the fucking Cool Ranch Doritos. I remember like, looking up at Raymond and I was like, can you give me some chips? <laughs> like, can you go get one? <laughs> <laughs> can you get one? No, yeah, he did. Open the door. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. I'm a Tiger Sugar. I'm taking them to Taps, and then we're probably gonna stay here until like dinner, and then eat dinner here too. Oh shit. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Tap. Eat this food like so many. Oh. oh. Do not trust me, do not trust me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of all over the place. This was a very last minute idea. So I didn't really know how to execute it properly. But if you guys want to see a part two, I will definitely go back to New York sometime soon. So I might film a more in-depth video and show you guys more places. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down any video ideas for the future. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.